Jackson coming to you today here, and I want to welcome you to a little uh, a little chicken picking lesson here uh, that I'm really excited to share with you. So these ideas, um, you know, I'm just calling them, you know, Brad Paisley style um, country chicken picking little single note ideas here. And so this is this lesson is not meant to be like an in depth analysis of Brad's style, uh, and I'm not even going to be doing any note-for-note -note solos that he does here, but you will hear him use these type of ideas a lot, and they're just really cool, they're fun to play, and if you use them, um, you know, using a lot of pull-offs and using the hybrid picking technique, I think you'll find that these ideas are actually fairly easy to play fast. So uh, let's jump into the lesson here. So I've got five licks that I want to show you. I've got three of them out of G and two of them out of A. So this first one here, let me go through and I'm going to play it real slow here. So we'll do... One more time. Okay, so let's 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 talk technique here, and uh, I want to go through and slow this down even more here. So at the beginning, we're gonna do. So that's third fret on the second string, second fret on the second string, uh, second string open. And we're going to do, so that's down, up, pull off, down, up, pull off. And then from there, we're going to come over here and hit this third fret of the third string with our pick. And then we're going to come and hit the second string open with your middle finger. So let's stop right there before we go on. We're going to do... So that's uh, pick, pick, pull off, pick, and then middle finger on the second string. Okay, so that's the first little chunk of that. Um, and then from there, we're going to do, that's third fret on the third string, second fret on the third string, and then we'll pull off to the third string open. So we've got... Okay. And then on those last three notes there, as far as your, what you're doing with the pick, we'll do down, up, pull off. Okay. So one more time, and we're going to... Okay, let's keep going with the rest of this lick here. From there, third fret of the um, fourth string. We're going to hit that with the pick. And then second fret of the third string with your middle finger. Pull off to the third string. Back to the third fret of the fourth with your pick. Um, third string open with your middle finger. And then we're going to do third fret on the fourth with a down, second fret of the fourth with an up, and then we'll pull off to the open fourth string. Okay, so so let's take it from the beginning of that lick again here and go through it. So we'll do okay. So in addition to getting the right notes um, over here on your left hand, you want to make sure that on your picking hand you're using the right technique there. Because using your middle finger for that little hybrid tech picking technique is really important because it gives it gives um, these lead lines that little pop, you know, that we hear a lot in chicken picking. 
Okay, so again. All right, and then we've just got one more little passage here, and we're going to do... And we're basically re repeating what we did on the fourth and third strings, but this time on the fifth and fourth, and we're doing... Okay, so let's go through that again here, and we're going to do... speed that up a little bit it just it, it gives you a very kind of Brad Paisley sounding country chicken picking lead line there okay so that's one of the examples here let's do a few more um, so this next one we're gonna do okay so the the technique is similar to the previous line that we did here, but um, we're. That's how we'll start this one off with. Which is almost like a Tony Rice and. You know, but. And then as far as the technique on that. So we'll pick those first two notes. We'll do down, up, pull off. Um, and then we'll pick this third fret of the second string. We'll come back and hit the first fret of the first string. And you'll hit that with your middle finger. And then we'll do... And then so those last three, it's kind of like the first three, we'll do pick, pick, pull off. And then we're going to do... Okay. So the same type of idea, we're doing a lot of where we're using um, we're using the pick and our middle finger, and we're also incorporating um, a lot of these open strings, and we're using a lot of pull-offs. And when you combine all that stuff together, you get these cool sounding Brad Paisley stuff. You know, I think the most obvious example out of this is like the nervous breakdown. You know. Uh, Something along those lines. I'm not playing that perfectly there. But um, that's what's really cool about these types of lead lines here. Also, too, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, um, if you want to get the tabs for these, I've got a link down in the video description. Just uh, hit that link, and I'll send you the tabs for each one of these examples. All right, so there's two ideas there. Let's do a third. And this one's going to kind of come right out of our... but we're going to go through and just incorporate some open strings in that. And it's going to go like this. We're going to do... All right. So that's going to start up here on the sixth fret of the second string. We're going to pick that. Again, like we've been doing with the other ideas, we'll pick, pick, pull off. Down, up, pull off. And then we'll hit this fifth fret of the third string with our pick. Second string open with our middle finger. Pick, pick, pull off. And then we'll... So kind of the end of that... 
Very similar to it's that same technique. So we're doing we're picking like the fourth string, um, third fret of the third string with your middle finger to a pull off, fourth, third with the middle pick, pick, pull off. Okay. And then we're taking that or But I hope you're seeing how when you combine the use of the pick and finger technique with a couple of pick notes and some pull-offs, it's actually fairly easy to play these licks really fast. It'd be a lot harder if I tried to flat pick all of that. So um, one more time with this third lick in G. Now remember remember this passage. Because for our next two ideas in A, we're essentially going to take that and just move it around to some different places. So now we're going to go over to A and we are going to do really that same idea but kind of out of our like A major pentatonic. And it's going to go like this. We'll do. Okay. So we're ending that one a little bit differently than we ended the first one there. We're doing... But the ideas are the same. We're pick, pick, pull off, pick, middle finger, pick, pick, pull off. And then we're just kind of taking that passage down the rest of that scale. So one more time there. We've got one more to do, and um, this one's kind of come more out of our A minor pentatonic shape. Our... And this one is essentially, um, it's going to be basically the same as that third one we did in G down here. The... Well, we're just going to move it up two frets and do it out of A. Same technique. Pick, pick, pull off, pick, middle finger, pick, pick, pull off. Okay, so let's go through all five of these one more time. So down in G, we'll do. Still in G. And then we'll go to A. We'll do this kind of out of our A major pentatonic. And then we'll move it up here to do it out of our A minor pentatonic. So I like these a lot because again, if you'll combine the um, the, the pull-offs, the pick and finger technique, and uh, these little ideas that make deliberate use of these open strings, you get some really cool sounding 
single note lead lines, um, kind of in the style of Brad Paisley. But there's a lot of players that use these ideas. You'll hear someone like Johnny Highland use these a lot. I think you'll sometimes hear Brent Mason use them. And you'll even hear, uh, like, Tommy Emmanuel. You know, you hear him doing that. Like, uh, you know. He does that when he's doing his Beatles melody, or medley, excuse me. Um, so you'll hear a lot of different players use these kinds of ideas, but they're really cool. They're fun to play. And, um, and, um, like I said, if you combine these, like these pull offs with the pick and finger technique, they're not that hard to play fast. So one more time, um, let me, uh, I'll do the performance video again here where you can hear how these sound with a, uh, drum track. <laughs> I know I've said this a lot on this channel, but um, but I really do recommend practicing a lot of these ideas with a train beat backing track, especially these kinds of ideas, because um, a lot of times these are played as like 16th notes at pretty fast tempos. But you can find train beat backing tracks all over YouTube at pretty much any tempo that you want. So that's a great thing to practice along with. I like practicing along with that way more than a metronome just because it's easier to stay in time with a with a drum beat like that and it's more fun to uh, it's more fun to practice with. So um, anyway, I've been wanting to do a lesson like this for a while. Um, I hope you enjoy playing these ideas as much as I do. Again, hit the link down below um, if you'd like me to send you the tabs for this lesson and I will see you next time.